lot of people look at the Toolcat as a utility vehicle. It's not truly a utility vehicle. This is a utility work machine. Four wheel steering, 61 horsepower turbocharged diesel, four wheel independent suspension, electronic traction control, electronic horsepower management, the front end capabilities of a skid steer, 1,500 pounds lift at the hinge pin, high flow hydraulics, 2,000 pounds of cargo box payload, 4,000 pound towing capacity. This is far from a utility vehicle. This is truly a work machine. You will replace your small skid steer with this, but it also goes 17 miles an hour down the road comfortably because of its four wheel independent suspension. All right, right here is the work group of the machine. This is your front end loader capability. This is what really, truly differentiates it from any utility vehicle. Um, this is a universal skid steer quick attach. It will mount up to any accessory you put on any Bobcat, any skid steer, period. Uh, this has got power bob tack. You can attach and detach your implements from inside the cab of the machine. Um, it has the hydraulic hookups that fit 99% of the attachments that are out there. It has the Bobcat proprietary 7-pin electrical attachment. This does run high-flow hydraulics. Uh, that is an option. You're insane to order one without all these options. Um, on the front of the machine also, you'll see lots of lights. Uh, selectable, you don't have to run them all at the same time. There's tie down hooks. You can see the suspension. Once you load it heavy, the suspension goes up, catches this rubber. That kind of stops the suspension travel so that you can carry a pretty heavy load. So once you lift up the bed, that's where a lot of your engine, a lot of your uh, other controls and stuff are. Uh, coolant, air cleaner, battery, fuel fill, hydraulic filter. There's a removable screen over the radiator. So if you're in the weeds or something like that, it plugs up, you can pull that right off, spray it off, blow it out with your air hose. All right, the rear end of the machine, there's not a lot to go over back here. You have your standard receiver hitch. These here are for chains for your towing. Uh, you've got turn signals, brake lights. This is your backup alarm. Underneath it is the radiator. That's somewhere where you'd want to at least pay a little attention to as you're operating the machine, make sure it doesn't get full of mud and sticks. Other than that, uh, the only other thing to point out is the independent rear suspension on the rear end of the machine. Uh, the big back window, yet again, visibility. Uh, they do make options where you can put a headache rack on it. Uh, we, a lot of the times we'll get the bed lined. There's a lot of options you can put on these machines, unlimited options. So, all right, as with everything Bobcat does, uh, maintainability is important. Right here, a lot of your, a lot of your day-to-day -day stuff is gonna be right here. You're gonna have your engine oil, engine oil fill right here, oil filter, alternator, starter, air conditioner, com compressor. Uh, a lot of the things that you have to service uh, occasionally are right there. Let's jump into the cab. Not a whole lot here on the passenger side. You've got a filter under here. That's your cab filter. Under here, after you take off those four bolts, that's where your fuel filter is going to be. All right, here on the driver's side, you've got your seat adjuster right here. This armrest is like the restraint bar on a skid steer. This brings everything to life. Uh, nothing will run, nothing will work without that down. Right here, this is your forward and reverse selector. This is gonna be your two speed button. Down here, you just got a standard throttle and brake. This is a hydrostatic transmission, so it will run a little different than your car, but it's still just a throttle, a brake, and a forward and reverse shifter. All right, here we've got the turn signals. Horn. We mentioned the Bobtack wedges. This here is what raises them up. Up, we'll lift those wedges up, down, we'll let them down. 
This is a traction control on and off button. I don't know why you'd want to turn it off, but it, they gave you the option. Uh, you've got hazards. Headlight selector, so you can select your down lights or your forward lights. This is just an indicator for the turn signals. Come up here. So when you start it, you're gonna hit enter code. If you've got a code in the machine, this is when you'd set it. Right now, since it's a brand new machine, we haven't installed a code. So at that point, all you do is just press the start button. Stop it. Press the stop button. Over here, parking brake. The parking brake does automatically go on when you shut the machine off and lift the armrest up. So if you just leave the machine running and you want to set the parking brake, that's why you'd use that switch. Also on the dash right here, you've got work mode. What that does is it decreases the hydraulics to the machine. So if you're hooking an attachment up on the front end, it's not so jumpy. So you can really slow and just inch your way into something. Uh, this is just a selector to tell you if you want the speed, hours, or tachometer to read on your display here. Cruise control, plus minus on your acceleration. Turns the headlights on. This here is a bucket lock, so if you're running down the road and you don't want to accidentally hit your loader arms, it's going to lock that. This is the auxiliary hydraulic button. You're going to push that button if you've got, say, a snowblower on it. That brings the hydraulics to life. Uh, down here, you're going to have your HVAC controls, heat, air conditioning. This here is just a standard loader. If anybody that's run a loader, you're going to understand how to work this. Also, these are going to be your controls for whatever attachment you've got hooked to it. Over here, if you hook a Bobcat attachment up to it, it should automatically read that it's a high flow attachment or not a high flow attachment. If it's a non Bobcat attachment and you want high flow, you're going to have to select that high flow button. That's what it's for. This here is your crab steer, your four wheel steering. This light here is an indicator to tell you if you've got your steering lined up. So if you don't line up your steering driving down the road, your rear end is going to be out one way or the other. Use this indicator here. It will light up when, when it's straight. Windshield washer, wiper, hand throttle. You're going to jump in. You're going to raise your throttle halfway, full throttle, and run it that way. This here raises and lowers the bed. You got some blank spots for more lights, things like that. Uh, cigarette lighter attachment. Radio is up here. Uh, just standard AM, FM equipment radio, a little heavier duty than the one in your car. It's meant to take a little bit more abuse. Here's a few more little things that Bobcat does just for your comfort. Right here. Just push the button once, it'll kick the windshield wiper on and off. Also, ventilation. We've got vents everywhere in this machine. You've got them here. You've got them blowing at your feet. You've got them here on the dashboard blowing on the windshield. Uh, just all about keeping you comfort while you're running the machine. Please like us, subscribe us. Hi Cash, hi Reagan. Thanks for watching.